Welcome to IDI CE 2025. Here are some of the highlights. IDICE, which is the Interpol Drone Countermeasure Exercise, is all about understanding how we can combat the potential threat of drones for law enforcement. This exercise has been very important. It increases collaboration, the potential for innovation, and also helps us understand more how to treat with potential threat that drones might oppose across the world for multiple agencies, but also for public sector. Welcome to San Diego, where the local time is 648. So this exercise event aimed to provide practical solution and idea for our member country to utilize. We take the national security portion of this very seriously. Uh, border security is national security. And because of that, we take full ownership of this exercise here with Interpol because we feel it's very important to find creative and innovative solutions to the counter drone measures to protect our communities critical infrastructure, and more importantly, the homeland. Our goal this week is to bring these industry experts from over 30 different countries, and we put together challenging scenarios in congested airspace to make sure that we have a true stress test. The scenarios are real life scenarios that play out across the globe every day for different agencies. This threat continues to evolve around the world, so it's important for us to work with our industry partners, international partners, and everyone involved, private industry, government, to address this threat. So we're gonna be testing a lot of different counter UAS capabilities this week. So we have some radar capability, we have some radio frequency capability. We're gonna see both detection and mitigation. So we're gonna be on board some aircraft, we're gonna be on board some vessels, do some shore-based uh, exercises as well with the detection equipment. But today we're really here at IDIS to talk about some of the challenges that law enforcement has. And that is that we don't have counter drone capability. We don't have the authority to really have a program where we could mitigate. How do we make sure that authorized drones are in our airspace? But how are we dealing with the unauthorized? Interpol Innovation Center's primary mission is to facilitate knowledge sharing among law enforcement community, ensuring that we stay informed about the latest technological development. IDICE 2025 is over. What has been your highlights, Chris? It essentially highlights Interpol role as an agency for collaboration, cooperation between industry, academia, and law enforcement to make the world a safer place. And for you, Mauro? For US Border Patrol, it's been this wonderful opportunity to host so many partners from different agencies and so many countries. Innovation and collaborations is key. This is the future. <laughs>